Dr. Kim Hammond is here from the Falls Road Animal Hospital with Teddy. Six Boy. months old? Six months old. Is, wow. that a, is that a face or is that a oh, face? This my is great. Gosh. This is, yeah, Happy. this is a beautiful golden retriever trained by Mark Katz. Let's see. He sees Set. himself. He sees Set. himself. Perfect. <laughs> nice work, Katz. Good, Good dog job. trainer. Good job. I love it. Six months old. Yeah, he's looking at himself. He's saying, ooh. Wait, woof. who's that? Woof. Very cute. <laughs> All right. How about some questions? Okay. I've got one about a dog. My dog is very active, but when he runs, he lifts one rear leg. He's not visibly in pain. What's going on here? You know, we're seeing a lot of that right now. And uh, it's primarily because all these dogs have been inside all winter, yeah. and they, they aren't really very stretched out, and their muscles aren't built up, and they're running out, and they're tearing the ligaments in their knees. Mm. Now, the funny thing is they've got three other legs, so they just they say, the not heck with it. Safe. I'm just going to run with the other three legs. Yeah. But that's something that has to be treated, and has to be treated by someone who knows how to do surgery. There are a lot of different ways to do knee surgery. Mm -hmm. There's only one or two right ways. Okay. There's only one or two right ways. So I would caution you not necessarily to take the first opinion, mm -hmm. get a second opinion from someone who knows what they're doing. And if you need help, you can certainly call me at the Animal Hospital, and I'll tell you in your area who to use. Sounds good. Okay. okay. I have a little Jack Russell Terrier who just recently started bleeding from his nose. I also see bruising inside his ears as well as his gum line. Is this a danger? It's a huge danger. Sounds dangerous. It's a huge danger. And today you should run and not walk to the nearest veterinary hospital. Uh, ticks in the area, ticks mm -hmm. in the area can create an immune reaction with just a tick bite. It doesn't have to be Lyme disease. It can be something else. And what happens is these dogs lose, for instance, their clotting mechanisms. It's an autoimmune disease, and they bleed to death. They oh absolutely gosh. bleed to death. So there's two treatments for this. One is prevention. Use a flea and tick product every single solitary month. And I, I want to tell you something really interesting, Sarah. A lot of people get worried about putting pesticides and things like that on your dog because mm -hmm. they get very concerned about toxicity issues. These things are really made for invertebrates. They're made for things that don't have spinal columns. You're going to be safe. Okay. Yep. Last one. I've heard rawhide bones can be dangerous for some breeds. Is there any kind of bone that's safe for all dogs? You know, rawhides can kill your dog. And I'll tell you why. They, they eat this rawhide and it gets stuck in their stomach. Mm -hmm. It's brutal. And some of them, you know, we've heard about some of the Chinese-made ones perhaps have some toxins. So the, the answer to that, a very short answer, is everything is fine in moderation. But if your dog is engorging, like this dog could eat a whole raw hive sure. bone, that's probably mm -hmm. too much. You know, it's like you going and eating a whole peach pie. Right, right. It's too okay. much. Just a piece. Sounds good. We appreciate the advice. All right. Thanks, Dr. Kim. All right. And thanks, Teddy. See you, Teddy. Out of here. Bye-bye.